Welcome to the Entire Variety Show, where we bring you live performances, thought leaders, fun, and a little bit of magic to wherever you are. I'm Natasha Miller, Chief Experience Designer of Entire Productions, and your host for this show. We'll discover how Harley Yanoff created a Broadway pivot, listen to musician Sam Johnson perform, play a game of trivia, and a few lucky viewers will have their portrait illustrated by artist Court Jones. Let's do this. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We are so excited to have you. We have an action-packed show today. Lots of things, some interactivity. So if you are able to show your face, we'd love to see your video. If not, we understand. But there are a couple of things that you're going to want to do um, you're going to want to be seen. So um, like every show, I just remind you, if you're not on Zoom all day, like most of us, on the top right of your screen, there are some icons that you can switch from a full screen to also presenter and grid view if you want to like see who's up here. Some of your friends and coworkers might be up here. Also, there's a chat um, feature uh, below. And so you can chat to each other. You can chat to me, although when I'm talking, I won't be able to chat back. But in the chat, let's see where you are in the world or in the country. I don't know if we have anyone from other countries yet. Someone just registered from the UK. So we might have someone who's pulling an all-nighter. Spokane, Alameda, Silicon Valley, Napa. So in addition to creating this show for you guys, for our viewers, we create similar shows like this for our clients, um, for both their internal teams and their external teams, for their clients, customers, prospects. And we are doing a lot of virtual events for um, our clients, thank God. There was a little couple of weeks there, we weren't sure what the heck was going to uh, happen. But let us know if you want us to create a show for you. So first up, I want to get an idea from you all who would like to have their um, caricature done? So just put me or I do or something like that. I'm going to choose four of you. And oh, Stan, you are definitely it. So Stan Lou, we're going to get a screenshot of you. So look straight into your camera, smile. And Court's going to take a screenshot of you. <laughs> You're cracking me up. Oh, Great Lord. In, in such a good way. Okay, Rose Carter. Nylene. Come on, people. Shout Jerry. out, Rose. Yeah. Okay, so let's go one by one. Sorry. So Rose is there. Smile. <laughs> cool. Did you get that court? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then Nylene. Okay, hold just a second. Perfect. Nyleen, is Tar Taryn with you? Oh, okay. Um, that's fine. We love that you're there. And then let's get Cherry. We're going to pin you, Cherry. So hold on a sec. Annalisa, can you get Cherry? Well, Court, can you see Cherry? Um, not right now. Okay. What's the last name? Sorry, I'm just- Oh, I'm sorry. It's Citizen Best. Got it. Carrie, you don't have your name up there. <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to put it. We're just going to pin you okay. now. Smile. Three, two, one, and yeah. <laughs> I'm so bossy. And then let's get two more in case court is really fast. Um, I see Macario. Am I saying that right? Yes, she's raising her hand. And if your name is pronounced differently, can you- Unmute yourself and tell me. It's Robin Macario. Robin, hi. Hi. And we're gonna do one more. Let's do Kristoff. Lay. Ha <laughs> ha. Kristoff's in the Bahamas. Ooh, cool. Hold on just a second. If you look right at the camera for one, two, and three. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you, you guys. This will be fun. We're going to check in with Court, um, who's an incredible artist, illustrator, caricature artist, and we'll see um, just how amazing he is. Um, but our first guest is someone that um, I met online. 
<laughs> I met him on The Hustle. And Bennett's going to put up the link to The Hustle. If you don't read it, you should check it out. It's a free newsletter. It comes out every day. It's so cleverly written. It's got great, great um, information. Let me see. Do I have, do we have Harley on? Yep. yep. Say something, Harley, so I can see your face. Hi. Yep, I'm here. Okay. Ah, uh, there you are. Okay, sweet. So let me give a little introduction to who Harley is and why I met him online. Harley is a New York City-based film, television, and theater actor-singer and founder of the award-winning Spotlight Summer Theater Workshop, now in its 13th year. He can be seen alongside Oscar winner Casey Affleck as Smitty in Disney's The Finest Hours, among other films. Harley has been a theater arts educator for 15 years, and we'll talk to him about his big pivot. Welcome, Harley. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm good. So there's so much to talk to you about. Um, you're a really cool dude. We reached out to each other on the Hustle newsletter um, Facebook group. Yep. And I'd like you to tell everybody and, and, and me a little bit about top-notch events and what you were doing before COVID-19 sure. struck. Yeah, so in addition to being an actor and owning the summer camp, um, I'm the founder and CEO of Top Notch Events, which is uh, a uh, it's an event uh, catering and staffing company based in New York City, uh, with branches in Los Angeles, San Francisco, Washington D.C., Chicago, Miami, uh, and Boston. And uh, basically, we were doing all the big events around these places, whether it was red carpet premieres for films, we were doing the food and staffing for. Uh, we were doing extra staff for restaurants, event spaces, hotels, uh, things like that. Um, I have a staff of over 300, um, you know, workers around the areas. Uh, and we were really just doing everything from uh, mixology to beverage creation for events to seated dinners, weddings, you name it, anything in the event industry uh, we had our hands on. And uh, that's what I have been up to for the past six years before uh, March 15th. And so in addition to all of that, you're also an actor. We just heard a bunch of things about you there. But in addition to that, uh, you've been doing summer camps for kids, I'm assuming. Yep. <laughs> Although there are adult summer camps. But tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about those summer camps and, and who teaches them and what, who goes and what do they learn? Sure. So um, before I moved to New York to, to become an actor, I, I studied uh, theater in college and I, uh, my honors thesis was creating a summer theater camp for kids called Spotlight Productions. And I opened that in Boston, Mass, right after graduation. And I'd been running that for 13 uh, summers. And it was basically my, wow. uh, my summer uh, therapy for the year where I would go back to Boston and the suburbs and and run a camp and we'd have over 50 kids per summer coming in um you know i'd have a staff of different counselors and teachers in that area and um it was it was great uh and that's you know through the years we developed a, a pretty strong following um in the boston area because it's a day camp and uh and that's sort of you know how life has gone is you know throughout the year i'm doing uh, top-notch events and the summer events sort of slow down so then i go to boston and i run my camp and, uh, and then uh, basically what ended up happening was with, um, with the pandemic, uh, all of the events, and Natasha, you can speak to this, all of the events in the event industry completely uh, just went away in a matter of days. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of people on the call here that work in the events industry. So a lot of us are in the same boat. And I think a lot of people that aren't in the industry are in the same boat. I guess we're in the same storm, but not necessarily in the same boat. Um, but let's talk about, you know, when we first met, you had an inkling um, about what to do with that Broadway show um, camp. So yeah. let's talk about what you did there. So, uh, so basically, um, you know, the news came out that Broadway had shut down and then everything else shut down, restaurants, everything. And I didn't know what I was going to do. So I actually, uh, Natasha and I, she said, we're in that trends hustle group and, uh, we were just communicating on the boards and she had an event company in, in San Francisco. So we, we had a phone call and I threw around the idea of, you know, I have this camp and, you know, I'd love to try to connect people through theater, um, and, and just performing right now in this weird, uh, state of the world. Uh, but I didn't know how I was going to do it, but it was just this sort of idea. 
And so uh, what happened next was I, I emailed a few of the families who had signed up for the workshop uh, this summer in person. And I asked them if they'd have any interest in doing a, a one day workshop, you know, with, with me and a friend um, who are professional actors in New York and, and um, you know, the Broadway name behind it and, you know, being with, with people who have been on Broadway and in different, you know, TV and uh, film uh, shows is, is appealing to, to kids and adults. So um, had that idea, parents seemed really into it. So I made a registration page on my existing website and within two hours, uh, it just completely sold out. And um, I called a few of my uh, actor friends in New York. I asked them if they wanted to get on board and try to develop this. And uh, ever I'm sure since the answer is yes, because what else are they doing? I mean, what else? Are, what are they doing? Actually, I shouldn't assume. No, exactly. So that's that's the, that's what I discovered was that all of the actors and educators in New York and everywhere are also out of work right now. And so for me, I wanted to combine the idea of. Uh, doing theater with kids, keeping them connected, engaged, and looking forward to things, but also continue to employ um, people uh, with jobs because that was a, a big thing. And, and I've been fortunate enough that since day one, um, you know, we've been employing people uh, every single day. I've had over 50 actors now who have jobs with us um, yeah. and we're, we're serving kids from all over the world from the Netherlands to China yeah. uh, to South Africa. And, what is uh, what time do you have to do a class when you're doing Netherlands or China? So the funny thing <laughs> is we really just go off of East Coast time and people make their schedules work. So the other day we had a girl from South Africa take a class and the dance class was 12 30 a.m. to 2 a.m. And <laughs> I asked her, I said, what are you like how are you doing this and she was like well it's it's really cool and you know i yeah. i have time so yeah. uh people are making the schedules work. we just started doing um programs in china so we're shifting oh, cool. that that's a separate workshop so that starts are you at, doing like, bilingual or are you just doing english yeah so it's a chinese international school but all mm -hmm. of their students who are usually in the u.s for their international schools during the year are back in china and they're very interested in theater so we're going to be doing those at like 7 a.m uh mm -hmm one of the actors will be doing that so that's how yeah. we're making um that work but then we started doing live shows and, and we really just um and then you're doing also improv classes yep. for adults yep improv classes for adults we have um you know uh casting directors come in we're doing like i said the live shows the live cabarets um we're doing special guests from hollywood coming in and teaching workshops we're doing cartoon voice acting classes where we have an animator come in and People are, uh, kids are getting to voice their, um, their own voices on cartoon That's characters. That's so cool. There's yeah. a gal on this call named Amy Tolbert, and she and I, about 10 years ago, she's in the event, event industry, but 10 years ago, we did a voiceover class together, and that's where, we're, where we met. Um, so also, um, you also do trivia, which yes. I just have to give a little uh, shout out to you and your team. You're going to be helping us with trivia later in the show. Yeah. Um, so how did that come about, and do you want to talk about the other elements that you're developing or is it yeah. too soon? Yeah. So, so yeah, I can, I can definitely um, get a little into that. So because as we know, the physical event world is on hold for the moment. So um, as Natasha has brilliantly done as well, uh, you know, the people in this industry have to shift to more virtual uh, experiences. So we really sort of double down on the virtual engagement aspect of things. So we, um, We've, we've seen that, you know, a lot of our clients are looking for entertainment and content and ways to think outside the box to entertain their, whether it's workers or clients and things. So um, we developed, one of my favorite things is trivia. And um, <laughs> so we developed a, a virtual trivia platform that we can customize questions, yeah. customize logos, graphics, all that, which you all see uh, in a little bit. Which right. you can also and, and I won yesterday in our tech rehearsal. You just, did. Just letting everyone know. You absolutely mm -hmm. did. And yeah, today's is, uh, well, I don't want to give away any of the questions, but uh, right. they were they were custom made by uh, Natasha and her team. So uh, Custom made by my team, not by yes. me. That means I can play and I can win. And yes, yes we are giving away a, give, um, a prize. We'll talk oh, about excellent. that later. Okay. So, yeah. so you all have something to really, uh, <laughs> to really go for here. Um, this but is yeah, the prize to begin with. Yeah. In terms of other virtual engagements, um, we're doing uh, like group improv. Uh, so there's like a team building aspect to that, that, but then there's also just individual improv where we're 
uh, we're really utilizing technology with that uh, and having like, you know, people voice different silent films and things. Um, we have our own sort of platform um, that we're developing. We're, we're almost finished with that, where we're going to be able to virtually place people in different positions. And um, yeah, that's really, know, really exciting. Yeah, have like a really clean um, experience that's really customized to the brand. We're really all about making uh, everything we do uh, look like something that was developed by our clients um, because people love branding. Yes, they do. I especially. Um, are you in New York right now? I am in New York. Yep. How is it? What are the streets? What's the vibe? Uh, it is, you know, it's, I'm luckily I'm not like right in Times Square or anything like that. I'm, I'm uptown. So I'm near a park. Uh, I get to run, um, you know, for the first like month, it was pretty bad because people were just barely going outside and, and wearing, you know, a lot of protective gear. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Everybody's still doing that. We're still wearing masks and gloves right now. Um, I definitely would love to be in San Francisco or anywhere else at the moment, but, uh, you know, I'm making the best of it and, uh, you know, it's, uh, we're, we're surviving. Yeah. Um, Another question I had, um, going back to uh, your classes and such, are you teaching any of them? Yeah. So I'm teaching the, uh, the film, uh, television workshop and, um, and then I'm also co-teaching a friend of mine, Brandon Flynn. He's one of the stars of 13 reasons why on, uh, on Netflix, mm -hmm. he is, uh, doing master classes every week. So he and I are co-running those. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm involved in all of the things I'm, you know, I'm jumping in when I can teach. Um, but you know, we're utilizing the breakout room function. So I'm able to sort of dip in and see yeah. how people are doing, um, like that, but I'm, I'm trying to teach as much as I can, but you know, with more things coming in, I, uh, I have to split my time. So I'm delegating. I, I think you're out of time, like in life. I don't know how you can do it, all, <laughs> but, but you can. So, and that's what entrepreneurs do. So. I am so thankful to have met you. Um, thanks to Sam Parr at The Hustle. Yes, um, I met him at a, a conference. And so paying attention to all these great connections. But thank you for talking to me. I'll Absolutely. let you get back to trying to get the trivia game up. It's a whole like technical thing. So thank you yeah. and we'll see you soon. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Thank you. All right. So we're going to switch over to Court and see what he has been up to. Woo! Yeah. Is this your first, um, it is your first drawing, right? You're, you're on mute or you're not, maybe you shouldn't, oh. maybe we, oh, there you are. Did, can you hear me now? Yes, we can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is my second one, actually. I already drew, I think it was Stan was the first one. Oh, come on, can we see Stan? This <laughs> one's awesome. Yeah, let me see if I can bring that up here. Stan, I don't know if Stan wore that headband just for me, but oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. We'll make sure the, to email these. And um, Court, if you end up having more time, you can ping us in the chat and we'll ask some other people to about face and get ready for their caricature. Yeah, sure thing. All right, thank you so much for being here. So next. Our next guest maintains a very busy performance schedule with over 200 shows per year, touring at college campuses across the U.S., performing at festivals and special events. He's had a residency at the Ritz-Carlton in San Francisco for five years. He just did the Sun Music Festival at sea, cruising to the Bahamas with Train, Matt Nathanson, and Alan Stone. He'll be performing at Bottle Rock Napa Valley, fingers crossed, in October. Um, please welcome someone who's become a really a friend of mine and entire productions, Sam Johnson. Thank you so much, Natasha. Um, this is really, really fascinating. And going through the sound check yesterday, uh, just seeing what you've put together is I think it's way ahead of the curve. For yeah, what thank you. Should, what people should be doing. I think I think it's fantastic. And Harley, it sounds like you're working your butt off. <laughs> um, he's probably somewhere else working right now. So because <laughs> I can't see his picture. Um, so I'm going to play a song for you. It's a cover song. And it is the first song I ever played live for Natasha Miller and Entire Productions when I came into the office. And that's why I've chosen this song to play again. Just in case you forgot, it's called Sweater Weather. Lola and 
is a man and a want the world in my hands. I hate the beach, but I stand in California with my toes in the sand. Use the sleeves of my sweater, set me better. Hell on the ground, but my gravity center. Touch my neck, I'll touch yours. You and those little highway stage shirts. She knows what I think about her. I want to think about one love, two mouths, one love, one house, no shirt, no blouse, just us and you found out nothing I really want to tell you about it all, cause ooh, it's too cold for you right now, and so let me hold all of your hands in the holes, it's too cold for you right now, and so let me hold all of your hands in the holes of my sweater that was my sound check song does that sound okay out there it sounds good sam sounds good all right yeah tell us where you're at and what you're up to in between too we don't want to just hear you sing we want to know who you are well i would love to talk to you and when this all uh when we're able to have lunch sometime natasha i would love to have lunch with you i think you're a fascinating person and the way you run your business i've always admired i mean i'm an artist you're an artist um but I am a small business owner. Um, you're a little better at it than me, I think. So I would love to talk to you. I'm just older than you, Sam. That's it. Okay, if you say so. <clears throat> uh, so I am currently in Alameda, California, which is the East Bay of San Francisco. Generally, I live in the Tenderloin, which is basically downtown San Francisco. And uh, right now, I don't want to be there because it's a little bit hectic and um, a little bit dirty. And the, I'm not going to say any more about that situation, but I'm staying safe, staying clean, and quarantined. Do um, you mind if I play an original song? So I just put a little album out. It's a, an EP. And uh, this song is called Lifeline off that EP. Yeah, yeah. Remember you would sing to me softly in my ear and now your voice over the phone is all i wish i'd hear it's not because i'm wasted not because i'm alone oh i'd feel the same when i am and when i ain't i don't got the guts when i'm not can i use my lifeline now i have a wasted them all Oh, I ain't wasted at all, oh, 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 yeah, because if I get out of night, you might get a call, ooh, ooh, I might call to say I am, ooh, 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 oh, ooh, 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 oh, ooh, 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 I love you, and I can't stand it. Stand this. What would I say to you? It's just been so long. Once I thought I hated you, but now I hate you gone. I don't know how this happened, but I'm sure that I was wrong. Maybe we could grab a drink, talk it over. What you think? Of? You probably think that I'm dumb. Can I use my lifeline now? I have I wasted them all? Oh, are you wasted at all? Mm-hmm. Because if I get out of night, you might get a call. Ooh, I might call to say I. Man, I haven't played some of these songs in a really long time. It's weird. I, I'm I'm used to playing so often, as you said, 200 times a year, you know, for an hour to three hours at a crack. And uh, it's a lot less than that. I'm still pretty busy in general, and I'm doing a lot of uh, live shows, which is I, I actually really like. Um, I like the interaction and the FaceTime. 
Yeah, tell everyone about your cocktail. Um, when can we find you online? Um, I, now I'm doing a happy hour type thing on Sundays at four and I'm having guests and stuff like, like you're starting to do now too. Um, I'm not stealing from you, Natasha, I swear. But it's, it's great. Go for it. Just I do have, it. I, I have my first, uh, my first guests on this Sunday. Um, a lady named Sedona who played on the, the train festival, the band train, they had a festival at sea. And she played with me and then a friend of mine, Isha Kay, who's really cool. So we're going to play some songs and chat and just have a good time. Cool. Um, I have a question, though, from the audience. Cool. And it is, what has been your biggest challenge pivoting to a virtual platform these couple mm -hmm. of months? Uh, I think the, the challenge has been, has been um, overwhelm, really. You know, so much information coming in. So many people all the virtual contact and the texts and the emails and you should do this, you should do that. And have you seen this? Have you seen that? And uh, really a lot of times what I'd like to do is, is just shut myself off from all of that input and, and think about what it is I want to do and, and, you know, take some time to write songs and, and not communicate so much because now that we're all at home, we're, it's like we're communicating even more than before. And that, that has been overwhelming for me. So that has been the, uh, the biggest challenge has been shutting it off and uh, trying to stay level and figure out what it is I want to do. Yeah, I'm on overload too. I bet every single person on this call is on overload, but it's hard for artists because you need to be creating, not just thinking and consuming. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Want to hear you play another tune? Okay, I got one more for you. Um, this is another original song. It's called Future Me, which you did play in the intro, but... By the way, cool intro. I'm gonna steal so much stuff from you, watch. <laughs> this is uh, writing a letter to your future self. Dear future me, looks like you're doing all right. The old school, with the top down, it's a beautiful life. Dear future me, I know it took a long time, mm, but you're sitting at the top now. Can you tell me what it's like? Yeah, when it all went down, when it all went down, you stood there like a man. You didn't try to run from it, you didn't try to run. When it all went down, when it all went down, you got back up and brushed the dirt off you. Wish that I could have a word with you. And if I live to read this letter I'll tear it up and then I'll remember How far we've come It almost took your ass forever Well, you finally got your shit together Well, you finally got dear future me Do you remember that night? Too much to drink when we got in that fight, or oh, we gave you two chipped teeth. I apologize. Oh, you should learn to keep your hands up, or at least think twice. Yeah, when it all went down, when it all went down, you stood there like a man. You didn't try to run from it, but you probably should have run. When it all went down, when it all went down. You got back up and brushed the dirt off you. Wish that I could have a word with you. And if I live to read this letter, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'll tear it up and remember how far we've come. It almost took your ass forever. But you finally got your shit together. Oh, you finally got your shit together. Well, you finally got your shit together, oh, 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 dear future me, dear future, dear future me. Thank you so much, Sam. You're awesome. So welcome. Maybe one day you could be a guest on my show. Maybe. I'd have to work up a tune. All right, you would have to work up a tune or two. Yes. <laughs> I can do that. I have seven CDs and probably recorded 75 songs. Maybe I could just play one of the CDs. That would be better. They'll probably pull me down for like copyright or something like that. It's my copyright. I own the copyright. You're going to give me permission. No, we're going to make you play live too. 
Uh, okay. I'm going to have to practice. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much. And thank you everybody for having me. And it's nice check to Check Sam out on Facebook. Um, he plays for special events through us. So um, book him, Dano. Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. All right, we're going to fly over to Court, who just, she, he's got an, oh, that's so awesome. Is this your third Court? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. just finished, uh, I think it's Nyleen. Is that uh, who that is? Eileen? Nyleen. Oh, Nyleen. Yes. yes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. And you've got who coming up? I guess uh, Sherry is next. Sherry. And do you, and how many more do we have? Uh, let's see, just uh, three left. Okay. So you, you've got enough to do. I won't give you more. It's okay. Okay, cool. Thanks for being on and thanks for staying on and not ditching us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Harley is ready with Top Notch with the um, trivia game. I think they are. So we're on Facebook Live too. We didn't tell anyone, but if people are on Facebook, they can play along on this game. And when Harley and Brian are ready. Just give me like a live. Give you a what? Oh, you guys are talking. Okay. You guys are seeing the tech. Welcome everybody to the Top Notch Virtual Trivia Challenge. Uh, to play in our trivia game tonight, please visit trivia.topnotcheventsnyc.com, which is posted directly under me. You see it. My name is Harley Yanoff. I know you met me earlier, and I am still the CEO and founder of Top Notch Events, a virtual engagement company. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to Brian Schwartz, our director of virtual events. Brian? Hi, everybody. Thanks for having us here tonight. So I'll just go over the rules really quick. Tonight's trivia is all full of custom questions provided by entire productions. Tonight's game is going to have 10 questions, so it moves kind of quick. It's all time-based. So the faster you answer each question, the more points you're going to get, and you'll get to see that on the leaderboard. So I'll give oh, you wait, just a little bit more time to get everybody win. logged in and make their name, and we'll get started in five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. Question one. Who was the first woman to be on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine in 1967? Was it Tina Turner, Janis Joplin, Yoko Ono, or Carly Simon? The points go down, folks, so the faster you lock in, the better. All right, let's see how you did. Ooh, mixed bag, huh, Harley? Oh yeah, looks like uh, looks like uh, looks like a little mixture of things there. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, two people got it right. Tina Turner. All right, let's check out the leaderboard. All right. Madeline taking the lead right now with seventy-six points. Answer very very quick. cool. All right, let's go to the next question. All right, let's do it. Who was the first Disney princess? Persephone, Snow White, Cinderella, or Ariel? Harley, you know the answer to this question? Who was the first Disney princess? Uh, uh, I don't. I, 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 I would need to phone a friend. <laughs> hey, you guys, I want to just tell you, everyone needs right, to do this on trivia. I, I maybe would have guessed Snow White, but we'll see. Ooh, it's a tight one. Let's see. One... One person got it right, right on. Let's All see right. <laughs> Let's see who it was. Oh, Annalise. Annalise pulling in the lead right now. Madeline, you gotta, you got to grab that leaderboard spot again. All right. Let's see what happens in question uh, number three. Question three. What is Paul McCartney's middle name? Is it A, James, B, Jack, C, Paul or D, Alex? Ten seconds, folks. Remember, the faster you lock in, the more points you get. All pretty common names there, Harley. <laughs> uh, yes, I would, I would say so. All right, let's see how everybody did here. Let's see if Annalise can keep the lead going. Oh, all right. Definitely wasn't James. Definitely wasn't James. <laughs> Paul was the answer. Ooh. And at least still oh. clinging on, 94 at points. Least very nice yeah. job. Look at Aaron W. coming out of nowhere. Madeline, you got to reclaim your throne. All right, next question. All right, let's see what we got. What is a duel between three people called? A trial, a thrill, 
a drool or a true. I don't know, but we definitely have a duel going on between three people on the leaderboard. <laughs> that is very, very true. All right, 15, 10 points, five points. All right, lock that in. Let's see. How did you guys do? Okay. All right. All right. Drool. Drool. Drool did pretty well there. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. All right, let's check out the leaderboard. All right. Karen. Karen W is bringing it home. And Zoe, where did Zoe come from? Way to go, Karen. Way to go. Anna, Annalise is right there. Madeline, we miss you. We <laughs> don't know where you went. You'll get, I don't know get what more there. questions to come. Let's go okay. to the next one. Let's do it. Question five. What was the first toy to be advertised on television? Was it Mr. Potato Head, Slinky, Yo-Yo, or Tamagotchi? Oh man, right, I remember a Tamagotchi. That was, oh, that was like the best gift I ever got. Yeah, I remember those too, those were nice. <laughs> you had to keep it alive, you know? Yeah, that was the tough part. Did you? Possibility, okay, oh! Knocking on Potato Head, let's see the leaderboard. Aaron W, keep it, Marlo, welcome, Marlo. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's go to the next question. All right. What military leader is quoted as saying, I came, I saw, I conquered? Was it Julius Caesar, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Pitbull, or Ernest Hemingway? I don't remember Pitbull leading a bunch of the military, but maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into the scene. Let's I go mean, to that. Oh, very, oh, we have some, we have some smart folks here. Everybody knew the, uh, the quote here. Ooh. I well, maybe it's in the Pitbull song. Karen and W. You, oh, look at that. It didn't change from the last round. So very interesting. Okay. All and right. uh, folks, like we said before, all these questions are completely customizable. You can also customize the logo there. Uh, you see top-notch events, but it could be any logo. It could be entire productions. Next question. All right. In Greece, uh, what sport did Danny Zuko receive his Letterman sweater in? Football, basketball, track, or wrestling? I do know this one very well. This yeah. is one of Favorite music. You were in Greece, weren't you? I was in Greece many times. Definitely not Danny, though. I don't think so. I didn't play Danny, believe it or not, Brian. Uh, yikes. Let's see the leaderboard. <laughs> oh, oh, we looks like we have some non musical theater fans in here. Yes, track is the correct answer. There's a scene in there where he, uh, he, he runs and then he punches somebody in the face. <laughs> not very sportsmanlike. Let's, huh. let's check the leaderboard. <laughs> All right, Marlo pulling it through. Karen W going down a few. We have Kristoff. I don't know if that's Kristoff or Christopher, but. Right, it's still second. Let's go on to the next question. All right, let's see if Marlo can keep it going. Right. What is the loudest animal on earth? Is it a peregrine falcon, a sperm male, a hyena, or a howler monkey? Ooh, I, mm, I think I know this one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I've, I've heard some of these noises before. I think I've heard the falcon. I could be a phone a friend for this. I think it's a howler monkey, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Let's, Let's see. Check Ooh. I'm <laughs> sperm whale. Well, probably a lot of us haven't heard that noise before. Let's see, who, let's see who knew. Two people got it right. Was it any? Oh, Marlo. Still Mar. Oh, wow. These, these three are not, they're not letting up. Yeah, it's a real troll. I mean, you all are playing for a very special prize provided by entire production. So keep this going. Marlo right now is... <laughs> Next question, please. All right. What is the most common birthday in the U.S.? Is it December 10th, July 21st, September 9th, or May 7th? I have absolutely no idea what the answer to this is. All right, do you have a guess? Uh, I'm a July, so I'm gonna go July. <laughs> I think you might be right. And no, I was wrong. September 9th. Okay. People got that. Wow, Harley, we, are, we should know our birthdays. These are great questions, entire productions, by the way. Good you guys work. Made some, you guys made some really good questions. 
All right, let's check out the leaderboard. Marlo. Marlo gets it. That is the, that, 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 that's it, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last question of the evening. All right. Arancini is an Italian delicacy. It now, it, its name means little orange, but it's actually made mostly of what? Lamb, rice, tallagantelli, or egg? I know the answer to this as a caterer. Brian, you should know this too, actually. You've, you've, you've experienced this food many times. You've probably eaten it. You have. Yes, rice is correct. Very good, you guys know your Italian food, very nice. Marlo brought it home and Molly came out of nowhere. Molly, great to, great to see you up there. Uh, and then we have Christoph in third. I remember Madeline at the beginning and Annalise and unfortunately really uh, they didn't make it in the top three. But Marlo, congratulations on this. Um, but you have uh, you have won, so uh, I'm sure uh, entire productions will uh, will let you know how to claim that. Uh, but to book an event with us and to learn more about other virtual engagements, please contact Entire Productions. Uh, and thank you all again for playing with us. My name is Harley Anoff, and I'm Brian Schwartz. Thanks for having us. Thanks, guys. That was so much fun. You're I out. You're clear. Did not know most of those answers. Um, and I did not have anything to do with uh, choosing them. So thanks team. So uh, who won, Marlo? You need to make sure that you email us. Do you wanna know what you're gonna win? I put it in the chat. We didn't say it ahead of time, but we're gonna be um, letting you choose a pair of blue light lens glasses from Quay. They're really cute. I actually want the light pink square ones. So maybe I'll just help myself to that too. Um, so, you know what? Um, this is a little bit shorter show than usual. Totally fine. Zoom gloom is a thing. So I just want to, before we check in with Court, just call out a few people that we didn't see or talk to. Um, first of all, my dad. Hey, dad. Thanks for being there. Um, Molly. Uh, we, I didn't see you come on and Mark Bowling, who I think is like literally driving because I can see the background. So please be safe. Be careful. Um, let's see who else is here. Melissa Panico. Gosh, Melissa, can you unmute yourself and just do you remember when and how long ago we met? Um, uh, I don't know. I think it's probably pretty close to 25 years ago. No, God, no, no, I God, I hope not. Well, anyway, Melissa um, is, works at Taste Creator, ago. <laughs> and she is an incredible event producer. And I, w I played the violin for um, yes. one of your weddings, I think. So. And sang, yes. Oh, gosh. Beautifully, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Yeah. Let's see, Kimberly Atani, Mrs. Miss Flowers, she's amazing. She works at Bespoke. Amy Tolbert, we talked about her a bit earlier. Um, Melissa Germain, Pat Swan, hello. Taryn Wilson from LA, Melanie Mercier. Um, I saw Samantha on, so yep, she's still on. Ted from Eventworks, Jim Vetter, Heidi, Sherry, Leslie. I just wanna thank you all for um, supporting us, being here. And uh, Jen Hagen, she's on too, I think. She's one of our biggest fans and I'm so thankful for her. So we're getting toward the end. Let's check out Court and see what he has for us. Uh, is that Cherry? That is Cherry. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I can tell because I know her and that is her and that is what she did. Um, so who else do you have? Are you still working on anyone? Yeah, I'm just about to start. I think it's M Macario and Christoph after that. So oh. uh, if we finish early here, I'll go ahead and keep on working and make sure I get them done and I'll Okay. Uh, I'll upload them to you so you can speak. Yeah, we'll get them all. Um, really great work. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's my right. pleasure. So let's see, where are we? We're at the end. So um, I just want to thank Annalisa, Madeline, and Bennett, and the entire, entire productions team for working on this um, show, but also working your butt off uh, since you all are working on such different things. I just want to tell you from my heart, thank you so much. Thank you to our guests, Court Jones, to Harley Yanoff and Brian, 
as well as Sam Johnson. We'll create the show, um, probably we're gonna start doing it once a month, it's a lot of work, but we also offer it to our clients for their internal and their external to engage um, with their clients and prospects and their teams. So if you don't have a use for it, but you know someone who does, we would love for you to refer us to them. So join us next June, I mean in June, uh, but we wanna ask your help with when we should do it. So we're gonna throw up a poll and have you choose when the next event is. So we wanna know, do you want to watch the show on a Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or Sundays at 6 p.m. Pacific Time? That's when we started this. So the first two shows were at that date and time and we'll come up with what you say and show it to everyone. Pretty sure we can do that. Court, you're getting a lot of love in the chat. And so are we. Thanks, guys. You're so sweet. Annalisa, do we have, oh, I didn't do it. Do we have the answer? We have the answer. Interesting. Well, guess what? So, Annalisa, do we have a date? She's looking at her calendar, probably. We do not have a date yet that I know of, but we will send that out. But we have someone on the line that's going to be our special guest. Hopefully, he can make it on that date. Jeremy Sutton, can you unmute yourself? Yeah. Hi, Natasha. Thank you for this amazing sort of showcase. Uh, it's been so enjoyable and such talent. Good. We're not going to tell anybody what you do or what you're going to do quite yet. I want it to be a little bit of a surprise, but let's just say it's multimedia and it's really cool and it's something that we haven't done on the show yet. So thank I'm you. looking forward to it. Very excited. All right. Thank you all. Stay or get creative and have a great night. Thank you 